Hi, IV12 folks. It's Kronzer. And Baker Rebo. <laughs> and Worch would be here too, but he's in a different meeting. So we're going to take you step by step on how to upload all of your things for your written tasks to IB. So we have this beautiful step by step guide. And if you just follow it and, you know, like also our video that we're making at 730 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um, then you should be in good shape. So number one, it says finish your written task one and written task two, proofread. Each should be on a different document in size 12, Arial font, double spaced. So here's my written task one, and uh, you can see it's double spaced, and it is in size 12, Arial font. You followed the directions. I, I did, I followed my own directions. Mm -hmm. And then here is my written task two. Notice that I have not double spaced my outline because you don't need to do that. And then here's my written task two and it is also double spaced. Notice there's this extra thing here, but don't double space if it interferes with the requirements of your genre. So like in, cre in um, written task one, if you were to write a play, you know, you, you wouldn't double, double space that. that, you would just follow the spacing conventions. So the next thing that you need to do is make sure that your candidate number and your page number are on each of the pages. And the way that you do that is by going to insert and header. And when you've clicked on that selection, you can then put your candidate ID number in. You also want to go to insert, page number, and the bottom left one puts a page number on the bottom right of each of your pages. That seems a little counterintuitive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got that done. Uh, now, check to make sure you've included MLA format formatted internal citations. So well, we've linked you here to the OWL at Purdue, to Great the in-text cita citations page. Did you know, Baker, the hmm. OWL at Purdue is so popular, if you Google OWL, it comes up before the bird. Like this is more important than the bird. Mm -hmm. Take that bird. So if you need some, um, you know, guidelines, this is definitely the place to go. But make sure that your in-text citations um, are all set to go for, especially your written task two. And what's really cool is that for your written task one, we've included all those for you already. So all you have to do is copy and paste the text that you used. Indeed. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and then for your written task two, right, that's what you said, right? Mm -hmm. You just, I think, in fact, we've got, got them all on there. You just delete the one that isn't yours. You got it. Wonderful. Okay, so now it's time for you to sign up and say, hey, Kronzer or Baker Evo or Wirch, it's time for you to come and check off my formatting. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pretend to be a student in Baker's class here. Sounds great. And oh, look at that. And I will just write, I will just write, oh. <laughs> she will just write her own name. Crowder. There it is. And then um, Baker and Wirch and I will each have an iPad and we'll be walking around um, and we'll see who's next on the list. We'll be in the library mm -hmm. and then we'll just come and find you. So hip, hip, hooray. Yay. There I am there. Now let's pretend that we have approved your formatting. Hey, Kronzer, everything looks good. You're ready to do the next step. Awesome. So I'm going to upload my written task one and written task two documents to the same turnitin.com I originally submitted to. So Baker's folks, you just You're with me. upload it. It's cool. But Worch and Kronzer's, you may have had both of us. And so if you had Worch try one, upload that written task two that you wrote during try one to his turnitin. And if you had me try to upload that written task one to my turn it in, or vice versa. Or if you've had me the whole time, you're golden. Or if you've had Worch the whole time, you're golden. It's just those two try flip it a do kids. I just made a word. Flip it a do. Yep. Okay. So, and then you're going to keep those screens open so we can see them. So here's turn it in. I'm going to pretend to be a student in Baker's class. Hi, student in my class. Hello. And I am going to, so here I am. I'm going to show you how this works. Here's my written task one. So I'm going to file. Oh, actually, I could just copy and paste it too. You could. You I could. think I'm just going to do that. So here I am in turn it in. And it says final IB version to written task one. I'm going to click submit. I'm going to go to cut and paste upload. And it doesn't really matter what my title is. I'm going to go grab my written task one. I'm going to com uh, control A because you're probably all on um, whatever you're on. Oh, uh, you are all on PCs. Yeah. Yep. Here's the only thing, though. Is it going to get my header? So the reason why we don't need to worry about your header mm -hmm. is you are not uploading. I am, actually. You are. So mm -hmm. this is not what we want to do. Okay. We are going to um, do not a cut and paste. We're going to do a single file upload, and that way it's going to grab your header and page numbers. Yeah, so this is a good conversation to have. On, We're having on, this on with this you. Thing. Yeah. So I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go to Download as PDF. That's a really good idea. Thank you. 
And so then that'll just download. And then I'll just do the same thing to save a little bit of time. Here's my written task two. Download as PDF. Perfect. Now we're ready to upload to turn it in. Okay, so here I am on turn it in. I'm on the written task one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to choose from this computer. I'm gonna go to my desktop. You can see all the stuff Kronz has got on our desktop. Where did it go? Probably in your downloads. That's weird because normally my stuff downloads to my desktop, but mm. that's fine. Downloads. Do, 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 there it is. Do, do, do. Is it this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's over here and behind our faces. That's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> oh. do, do, do. I have to move our faces. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> we'll upload. Uploading. I'll stick our faces back. Do, 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 do. This should take less than two minutes. This is when um, I didn't realize that I sang transitions until you told me that. And you were like, you always sing, sing in sing transitions. transitions. And I said, no, I don't. And sometimes it's a sad transition. Well, it's my sad trumpet. <laughs> yeah. Or sometimes it's a happy transition. All right, we're ready to anyway, submit Anyway, so there's to my second one. Written task two. Oh, I have to put the title. Whatever. Okay. We'll do that. I'll do that in a second. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm gonna upload that. Here's my title, written task two. Perfect. And I'm gonna upload it. This is going swimmingly. I know, right? Great job. It's a good thing we decided to make this video. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that you're watching this video. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Hooray! Okay, so now you can see that I'm gonna keep this screen open. Yes. And if I have two teachers, I'm gonna keep both turn it in. Both turn it in. So, like, I'll just open up a turn it in and then I'll open up another, you know, screen with the other one in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've done that. Hey. Hey. Something's different about you. All of it. It's all, it's all different. Hmm. Thanks. Thanks for noticing, though. Hmm. Hey. Uh, let's take a look at number six. So, we are going to download this form. So, you'll just click on it and click on it, and then uh, the Chromebook. Uh, or wherever you are is going to bring you to this screen and you'll be like, ah yes, there it is. And then you're going to click here and download it. Now, um, I'm on a Mac and so it looks a little bit different. I think you'll just be able to start typing right away, but I've just got to do one more screen. At any rate, you should get here and then these boxes should be like slightly blue. It's really light blue on mine. It'll be a darker blue on a Chromebook. So when you're here, we're going to enter in some information. The first thing we'll enter is this candidate personal code. And Mr. You, Baker. Yes. Where do I get my candidate personal code? From your wallet, from this the wallet that you wallet? have. This is seriously my wallet. This Kids, is we need to get Mr. Baker in the wallet. A terrible wallet. Um, but you listened to Miss Brown when she gave you this handy dandy pink candidate code mm -hmm. piece of paper and you put it in your wallet so you know exactly where it is and if you didn't put it here you took a picture of it you texted it you sent it it is somewhere <laughs> whoa whoa this is crazy you're wearing something different your hair is longer we are also in a different location i don't know what happened i have no idea i have been reading a lot of harry potter again it probably was some sort of disapparation we're thing. reading the scene where yeah. you know they learn to disapparate it must be working that is what's happening all right hello hi so one thing though that we want you to keep in mind is where it says candidate personal code here sometimes students ask like what's the deal with that what of all of my numbers goes in and the number that does not go in there is the number that starts out 002815 dash. It's not that one. It's going to be on your pink card. Yeah, this handy pink card, which you've seen before and you will see again, mm -hmm. this has right on the th uh, third row a uh, line that says personal code. And guess what? That is your personal code. Mm -hmm. And this personal code, goes which right is a combination of there. letters and numbers, goes right there. Mm -hmm. That is what you put there. Ooh. I'm feeling something twitchy in Me my too. belly. Whoa! I think I'm gonna One of us took the time to pre-slug all of this information into your form. One of us is a really great teacher. That one. So next time you see Kronzer, give her a high five and say thank you. She saved you a lot of time. Eh. At the bottom of the form, there are two sections that we have to fill out. Now. You are not an SL student. Mm -mm. You are HL students, mm -hmm. not SL, mm -mm. HL. Mm -hmm. So when it says higher level HL only, that is you, text type for written task one. We'll fill that in. What's an example of a text type? Maybe a missing scene. Hmm. Maybe letters. Oh. Maybe an editorial. Yep. Maybe a newspaper article. Whatever you chose for your written task one text type, fill that in. 
the second part that we're going to fill in is your question for written task two. It really doesn't want Remember, me to type, type that again. <laughs> <laughs> it, it you'll be able to type. You'll be able to type. <laughs> you'll be able to type. You'll be able to type. And you all had prescribed questions for written task two. In other words, uh, you chose one of the six written task two questions to write your final written task two on. Find that question. Put it here. That's it. How does X form give you from the blah blah blah? Yep. When you are done, then you're gonna. Um, okay, so it's gonna. You're gonna click on print, which seems weird, friends. Seems not intuitive. But that's what you're gonna do. Click mm -hmm. on print. Okay, and then the screen's gonna come up, and it should default to save as PDF. But in case it doesn't, then you're just gonna click on change, and then pull up that option. But it'll click on save as PDF, and then you'll click save. And then you're going to save it as your first name underscore last name. So, you know, here I am, Nicole underscore Kronzer, but that is not your name. That, so that's your name. It's my name. But you but do your knows. first name yes. underscore last name, mm -hmm. and then, um, you know, click save on that sucker. Um, but keep it up. So keep it open. Leave that tab open. Be Mr. Baker and mm -hmm. have a thousand tabs open. It's a good thing. Because you'll see over here that pretty soon we're going to need to take a look at all of your different things. And so keeping all those tabs open will make your checkout go a lot faster. Well, I feel good about this. I do too. But, you know, I really liked that teal sweatshirt I was wearing. So yeah. I think I'm going to go change. I'm going to change back too. Okay. Good memory. Now I'm going to log into the IB website. And Ooh. if you just click on this link, it's going to take you here. And I guess I'll just do that. And that brings you right to the site, and you are going to upload as a candidate. Yep, so I'll click on that. And then Hyatt has given you a little card. You should. This should be in your wallet and in your phone. Right, and so it has your personal code and your PIN number. We don't have that, and so I will just show you. Sorry, this is a little, getting a little messy. I have so many tabs open. You're like me. I am. I'm just like you. This is what it'll look like. So you will wait until we're standing there, and then you will... Upload, oh wait, so like that's next, right? Like you get all these screens open yep. and then you call us over. You sign up on that sheet again. Yep. We come over, we look at your Turnitin originality report. So that's why you've got Turnitin open. Yep. We proofread your cover sheet, which is why you have the cover sheet open. We watch as you download both of your written tasks from Turnitin. So we make sure the ones that you uploaded and ran the originality report are the are ones yours. Yeah, that get uploaded to IB. We watch as you upload your written tasks and your cover sheet to the IB website, which is why you have that ready to go. And then we will hand you a piece of paper that you sign and you promise is your work. And then we sing a bit. We do. If you have me, I can carry a tune. Yeah, I cannot carry a tune, but that doesn't stop me from it's singing. It's really charming, Yeah, though. I sing because I can't. Yeah. It's lovely. So here is your video. If you do all of these things, you'll be in great shape. And uh, we're so proud of all the hard work that you've done. And you should be proud of yourselves, too.